situated about eight miles west of New York City at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. A few moments ago, the crowd here was on their feet as their beloved Jets made their way out of the tunnel. They're ready to go. We're ready to go, and it should be a good one as those New York Jets get set to face off with the Miami Dolphins. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. First carry for James Conner. A first down for Connor and then some. And he'll get this down to the 39-yard line. It's a big play that time by the Jets. Pretty explosive run on that inside handoff. And when you're a runner of his caliber, you don't need a big crease. You really don't. But also what we're seeing is an offensive line that's taking charge at the point of attack, aren't we? Not only are they controlling the initial contact, they're actually utilizing what they call the strain the next two to three seconds. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Give the sack to Jerome Baker. Boy, Charles, that time he took a bad situation and made it worse. Yeah, you're almost putting together a nice little song there, aren't you? Because it's something you'll see from young quarterbacks. They have that tendency to retreat backwards instead of stepping up in the pocket. They'll set up to throw. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Flushed out right. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. Fielded just inside the 20. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And it'll be Dolphin football. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 22. not going anywhere to start the night. They stop him at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. From the gun, it's Tua. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Two is throws taken in by Waddle. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right. That's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where a play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, got that dagger play, got that play, just finish him off right now, because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. Meanwhile, to his throw, taken in here by Fuller. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets, 28. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Two are throwing here, complete to Gaskin. Touchdown, Dolphins! Miles Gaskin, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Dolphins are going to take a first quarter lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. 
And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And they come into this one off the loss over the weekend. But you say if you're going to play a Thursday night game, this is the week to do it. It certainly is because you get right back out there. You don't have time to dwell on things. And look, your game plan is going to be a little more limited, but so is theirs. So that's when you just appeal to your top players. Guys, you make plays in this one, we out execute them, we can walk away with a win. Connor going to get it again on second down. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. So third and two, and I count six defensive backs out there. He'll look to throw. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking of throwing to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 43. On play action, they'll throw. Throwing left side, it's complete. And all the way in, touchdown, New York. A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Jets are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau. And that will tie the score here in this opening quarter of play. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Winless to start the year at 0-2, and, and now they get the Thursday night game here in Week 3. So, I don't know, does the fact that they're back out so quickly, Charles, help or hurt their cause? It's caught inside the 25! Touchdown! And that looked almost to be a case of, you know, a quarterback saying, hey, I'm going to throw this as far as I can and hope you run under it. Mission accomplished. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game, but I think when it comes within your... Blitz coming, and down he goes. Brandon Jones. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. Second and 20. 60 red. 60 red. They'll set up a throw. He's going to look deep for more. This is intercepted. Picked off Byron Jones. And the Dolphins will take over here just shy of the 30. They brought the house that time on the young rookie. Maybe a little rattled through the pick. And you have to be prepared for a lot of pressure as a rookie quarterback because most defensive coordinators are going to test you that way. 
So when you see that, the ball's got to get out of your hands quickly, and that means your receivers have to understand they have to break off their routes quickly as well. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. And he held on to it, but he probably shouldn't have as they get him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. On the handoff, it's Gaskin. And for the moment, this will be a first down. But we have a marker on the field. Let's see if this stands. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Finding Gaskin underneath. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. The last run got six, now second and four. Here's Tua. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And DP goes into Jets territory before being taken down. It's a big play there for Miami. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. Throw left side here, complete to the tight end, Gesicki. Touchdown, Dolphins! Mike Gesicki. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Dolphins add on to their lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And it's now 21-7. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. This will be fielded inside the five. And he returns this to the 22. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Noah Igbenogany. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Part of what we just saw, that's a great example of a team that was really amped up. They put playing so well, yet they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead is swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. This will be fielded inside the five. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And fresh off the pick six, they've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball, he's got to be like what we talk about with defensive backs who get beat for a long touchdown. Short. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Rowe. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How'd things turn out for him? 
I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turn around and tossing it to the runner, but where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. Gaskin again on second down. Heck of a broken tackle, but only able to work this down near the 23. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Tua looking to throw on third and two. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams there to bring him down. And this is off the left upright. And it comes back. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So distance not the issue there. He had plenty of leg to get it there. It's that darn upright getting in the way. Always gets in the way of a good time, doesn't it? Because he hit it square, too. Sometimes you can bank one in if you get it on the end of the football. No such luck there for him. Yeah, he put up a good fight, but he's going to be taken down behind the line of scrimmage. With his size, it often takes more than one guy to get him down. But if you can at least slow him up and the reinforcements arrive, you have a chance to get him on the ground. And that they did that time for a loss. Second and 13. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Now back to throw. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. Touchdown, Jets! Well, we saw this plenty last year in college. He loved to take his shots downfield, and that throw, that was a thing to behold there. And that is absolutely demoralizing for a defense because you've got the offense on the ropes. It's third down. You're trying to get off the field and then wham. You have a letdown in the secondary, and you give up a big one. And that wound up traveling at even 58 yards in the air, according to Next Gen stats. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they are losers of two straight coming into this Thursday night game. Is it more difficult, CD, when you take a losing streak into a quick turnaround game like this? It certainly is because you don't get time to work on the issues that you've had throughout the season that have caused you to have the record that you're having. You can't really get those set. So now you're trying to minimize those and maximize what you've been doing well. And I remember a game recently where one of the assistant coaches said to the head coach, forget our running back rotation. This guy has a hot hand, and they rode him to a victory. Those are things you have to look out for in games like this. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Here's Gaskin. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Coming up at 
at the half. A reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Fuller. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. From the 47, it's second and five. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Most of the burst right there. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first. They'll be taken down. The Jets get in there. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Tua. There's Fuller for a Dolphin touchdown. Will Fuller, 46 yards. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. This will be fielded inside the five. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And with a three-score deficit staring them in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that is taken in by Hurst. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. They'll drop to throw. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by Eric Rowe. Boy, you just kind of feel for him right now. Four interceptions, and you can almost see through his face mask. There's a lot going on in between the ears. There certainly is, and probably way too much, because now he's probably doubting himself a little bit, wondering what adjustments he has to make. But here's what he needs to do. Get through this game, go to the press conference, meet it head on, and show your team. that he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. To a tongue of Iloa. Scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Dolphins continue to pull away here in this first half. Sanders on for the extra point. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. This will be fielded inside the five. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And we'll see how they want to play this. Just a little over 20 seconds to go. He's going to look deep for more. And that is incomplete. To Shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Here's second and ten. Too little, 
A first throw for the backup, Wilson. Looking right sideline, that's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. So we've reached halftime here, and it's the visiting Dolphins taking a lead to the locker room as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Final adjustments being made for the second half. Whether they'll amount to much in a game that's already pretty well decided, well, that's another question. Nevertheless, let's get you back out to Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, thanks. Yeah, that's something to consider. Are we in for more one-way traffic here in the second half? It has not been a competitive game to this point. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. This will be fielded inside the five. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And the first half definitely went their way, and this would seem to be a great opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of reach with a score here. Yeah, and it's a wonderful opportunity for them because if they can add seven more to their lead, before the other guys even see the football, that could be the decisive blow in this game. I think that's how they're eyeing it. That's how they're approaching it. Now they run the option on second down. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Hands it off out of the gun. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Tua getting it quickly out to Waddle. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. This is Gaskin on the carry. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 48 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter, and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game, and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. They'll run now with Gaskin. He'll get it to the 23-yard line. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Two and now running right on the option. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so he didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. That's complete to his running back, Carter. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. you got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. And he stopped immediately there. Calling no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. At the 16-yard line. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, 
most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Out of the gun on third down. Here's Tua. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. So fourth down, Tua departs, and on is Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Sanders' kick is good. And they're well on their way now as the lead grows even larger. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field. But they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is just what you said. You've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. From the gun, it's Wilson. That's complete. It's Elijah Moore. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. There's a nice pickup right there. And after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 35-yard line. Now it's Wilson. Again, he finds more. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they've... And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Wilson. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the run. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's Wilson. Flush to his right. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Able to get there and pick it. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here as they've got it at their own four-yard line. A young quarterback, Charles, rolling to his right. I know he's right-handed, but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket? I think so, but you have to remember with young quarterbacks, it may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier in their career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, the NFL veteran defense ended up winning the battle. 
And he'll give it here to his running back. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Watch the 